then yes welcome back folks q here um this week we're going to be doing a magnetized modular bridge point out to be magnets are show you how we built it a bridge too far So each one of these overpasses are going to be six by four. We're going to base them with the wallpaper again to give us that nice cobble texture and foam to do the cribbies, curb stones, glue them along the edge. And it's just a reiteration of what you did with temple runes. It's essentially, yeah. And this is one of them finished, a bit of uh, decorators chalk caulk or polyfiller or spackle or whatever to fill in a few of the gaps in between and we're going to blend off this edge with a piece of card to make it flush it's not a bit of cereal box here's the magnets end up losing them keep it secret keep it secret and then once you've got a dart done in just drill some holes and glue them in hope for the best <laughs> with the line up on our ones some pillars for underneath and when i actually got to that stage i wasn't too pleased with the outcome because it did look like a motorway and then i made these railings out of card put through a machine called a cricket the results amazing really changed the whole build So we crack it working away. Imagine cutting that out by hand. You can do any shapes you want, basically. Essentially, so we're going to be using this a lot more because it just expands the level of details we can put in, not just for fences, but for all sorts of things, window frames, iron work for doors. Didn't completely cut those ones, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to do it round. Here's a few barbecue skewers to use as posts and just push these through in a bit of glue making sure they're roughly in the same place and then glue them in let them set once they're set got this bit of fence here made more even these wee raggedy bits are still going to be useful you know just want to do it like it's been ruined and pulled apart or people have been trying to get bits of it or someone's been thrown through it or fill in the blank and a bit of PVA glue along the bases to really firm them up and the surprising thing is for cardboard they do get really strong once the layers of paint and stuff go on and glue there are two layers glued together these two bits of cereal box glued together because I had the glue I just put some gravel down usually do this at the end but base it all in black Brings it all together like a rug, like a stolen rug. Really tied the rug together. Same with your pillars and then glue them in place. And if they're all as close to the same size, it doesn't really matter. You'll get there, they'll be a bit rickety, but you can slice off the bottom to get them off. Sometimes you can go really bad, it's like trying to fix a wobble on a table. And then here, another one, same concept for the stars. These ones are four inch, that half inch is a lip. Used to glue the next one on. Glue these up, give you that cobble texture and just tidy up the edges. Bit of cell tape or get rid of it. Stars were a bit more difficult but pinch I was pinching the edges of the step and it squared them off nicely rubbed in the seams see or it's still a bit loose because the glue's still wet but it really firms up same for this part I'm going to do the curb stones corner one same concept cut their the wedge out of it and then cut your angle for the corner just lining it up here it should be 45 if even a 45, it is. It's an 80 degree angle, two 45s. 
just marking out the edge of the bit I'm going to gouge out and then fit to the edge you get a nice seam draw the bricks in with a pen and then your wee texture tools whatever they may be I'm using a bit of tinfoil here a sweetie packet and a rust stone then these the mistake I made with these is cut them both for the same side instead of one for each side uh, this one goes on literally like it was made for it and the other one not so much you can see here my brain trying to work it out can't work it out but then come up with a resolve Raging it, trying to force it here but I end up just modifying it well, rather than starting again. And then a poly filler. That'll have to do for now. Yep. <laughs> Bit of poly fill up to blend it in as best I can. I'm going to head up with moss anyway, so it's not a relevant process, it's just in case the moss didn't go on properly or whatever. You'll not even notice it at the end. Then glue these bits together, bit of card there to tighten off the edge. It's where the magnet's going to go. And then that wee half inch mark you left. Smaller columns for underneath. Line them up as best you can. And then you have one half of a totally unbalanced starway. Base of black. Yeah, posts, putting the posts in for the fence to continue on down the starway. It is kind of like a motorway passover in a lot of ways. Good luck in the carriage up that star. <laughs> it's like getting a prom of them. Just gluing on these fences at other glues tacky so it holds it pretty steady and then the PVA glue to hold it to the bottom has multiple points of contact, goes rock hard. Starting to get the base colour down. Nice wee shot. It's far about to paint then really. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm preferring this idea of just going dunk, 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 dunk. And just can fuck filming all this paint. Pick out a couple of wee ones on the pillar and on the th uh, the bridge here to make it not as monotonous. And then using this copper colour because I love it. Once it takes a black wash and then a wee teal wash over the top, it looks it looks apart. Colours are a bit obnoxious right now, but once the wash is going, it will settle down. Time to glue this in, and that holds itself up perfectly. A couple of bad edges underneath, but we're going to fill them full of moss, so you're not going to see any of it. Well, you should have said that those pillars should be the size of the staircase at the bottom. I right, well, yes. It's, I think that's a point. A bit of tinkering there, get this all lined up. Now with the washes. could do another stir well 
easily enough and then you have an up and a down or you could do y's or t's or things that branch off from it in all directions you know it's it's like you could literally keep just building the middle bits have multiples of them Jesus Christ. That's Jason Bourne. Jason Bourne's nightmares. So I'll fill this in with a bit of polyfiller. Keep this for some the other bit for something else. Add a few wee bits of rail and paint it up. Looks well. Holes for the magnets. Which I found again, obviously. And then glue them in the place. Just in case you've never seen stuff being glued before, yeah, there's your chance. There's, there's a good, yeah, you know, up close shot of me pushing magnets in the hole. It's far too small. And then, do you have to super glue them after? Because they're fairly strong wee magnets. Just suck them out. Moss paste, hide all the sins. Seams on pillars, glue, gaps. Mistakes made in the phone. Brush is the best thing to applicate this with. Gives you a nice texture in it, which is great for when you dry brush it, which is when it's really magical. Dries out much darker in this. Then the yellow really like puts a nice fade in it. Yeah, yeah so it just goes really well with fantasy elements as like having a good moss. Yeah, definitely a good moss. I suppose it's once again a, a, just another technique for conveying age. You know, or the time has passed. You know, the wash really did that a service, like over the color on it. Like, once it's dry, give it this yellow dry brush it was talking about. Like the color, the dark color that it dries is unbelievable compared to that there luminous green. <laughs> yeah, the Hulk green, and then this yellow kind of brings it back up a wee bit, but not as extreme. Or it's been used to hide that mistake. Now you wouldn't even know it was there. It's this teal wash, just made out of shitty paint from Ikea and a white acrylic. The white wants to hang about more and the teal just stains it. Goes on nice, dries really light, so a couple of passes at it to get the um, full effect. We tufts here, we memer. And once again, just stuffing this in, in caps and places where I could do with hiding up some of the shit bits. There you go, there's a wee skelly in there. Oh, are we one? Brutalized. Let's start. There you go, uh, hope you enjoyed this one. If you like it, give us a wee like or a sub. Throw down a comment if you feel up for it. Head on over to Instagram on Q Creates. I'll throw up a few bills that I do from the channel and a few bills that I don't. Until next time. Russians brought a pencil in his face.